You know, they say it's the most aggressive wedge groove in golf. And down by the sea here in North Wales, Conway Golf Club, when I mention the jaws, it gets me a little bit twitchy. A fairly aggressive stroke there, and again, uh, a little bit too heavy on that one. Hopefully you can see that one check up. Um, camera's a fair bit away, but you should be able to, again, heavy on that last one that just released. Two of them four, reasonably happy with, and uh, did what they said. Uh, did what they're suggesting they would do um, check up on that sort of second bounce the interesting thing for me like I said is out here on the course what do they do at 60 degree wedge interesting to see straight away uh, you can almost feel a little bit of um, traction between ball and club it's just a few more I've got 52 I've got 56 I've got the 60 which is what that was a uh, few different positions maybe out of some sand and then I'll give you an opinion of what I think of these but first of all Let's get telling you what Roger Cleveland says he's done in the design of these new wedges. Wedges. And to be fair, there's been a lot of um, I think there's been a lot of interesting developments in terms of the releases of wedges in this last few months. And I think everybody again has upped their game just that little bit, whether it be down to the design, the profile, the looks. But ultimately, it's down to performance. And the big story with these Jaws wedges is the new way in which the grooves have been cut, in which they've been machined and milled. They're the highest and tightest tolerances that have been achieved by Callaway so far. They claim to have made, and I think the, uh, the data I'm gonna throw up in front of you now, 11% increase in terms of spin performance, which is an interesting claim. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that's measured and on what cross section of shots, but it's a claim that they're making and it's something that is all down to the way these grooves are milled. And as you can see from the close up, it's a lot sharper edging, You've also got that groove within groove technology. We've seen that before. So I think again, I know it's 82 or 84 points of contact across the wedge faces. Um, so in theory, it sort of makes sense where that extra grip and fizz will come from. But they certainly claim to have made and consistent, consistent spin. Uh, which is another important thing and coming out of a variety of situations. We're going to try that now in terms of uh, 60 degree wedge out of this fluffy lie. I'll at these 60 degree fluffy lie jobbies, we'll throw some pictures up and I think we'll talk about how they look in the next uh, part of this video. Right, so the next few shots I'm going to play are, uh, we can't see where these are going, but it's a low one down the green. But the point is, I'm going to play 52 degree, which is the other. So I've got 52, 56, 60. 46 degree wedge up to 52 degree wedge have been made in a lot smaller profile than what we've seen in recent years from the md4 and previous and the idea being that it's easier to blend in visually from where you leave your irons in terms of your pitching wedge in your regular set of clubs and i've got to say they've done that really really well it doesn't sound ingenious in terms of what they've done but uh, it certainly it works the concept works so straight away you put that down 
uh, at address and it looks like effectively one of your irons it's no big height so there's no change visually um, it is like I said very much um, easy to blend in is what they're saying so no visual change from what you're used to in terms of um, a little bit heavy again there that's better I mean the interesting thing with the grooves is kind of there's no doubt about it you can you can feel it I mean it's a brand new club it's just come out the wrapper not been on the course before uh, but you can feel I don't know whether you can hear again there and you can feel um, they've all come out uh, I'll spin the camera around in a minute and show you where they finish but they've all come out relatively from the center of the club and you can certainly uh, feel that little bit of um, like I said in the previous clip a little bit of traction um, they performed so far so good are they lighting my fire maybe not I nearly forgot but I know people ask so uh, yeah that's where we finished up not too bad What was interesting there was uh, yardages and dry ball data and I'll throw that in front of you now and what I was trying to do was go off dry ball data and translate that out on the course. What dry ball data doesn't tell you is about wind, is about conditions, is about when that ball gets up there and the sea is over the other side of this hole, you can feel the wind a lot higher and you can see that ball stalling. But let's throw some dry ball data up now. And there's no shocks there to be quite honest with you, it's exactly what you would expect to see. And I often see with wedges, I've never seen a wedge really underperform in terms of a spin number that you'd expect to get. Um, there's been never any great surprises or shocks. But to be fair, each of the clubs, and I know it's a limited amount of shots, but they all each performed as you'd expect. Probably a little bit longer in terms of yardage, what I got in terms of dry ball data. But here in reality, I was playing a 52, which suggested 120 yards in terms of dry ball data. I've just played about 115 into that flag and come up a way short. I would say it's played about 100 into that wind. And they're the things that dry ball data will never allow for, will never equate. And this is reality. So you'd need to know your yardage with these things. But like I said, in terms of the dry ball data and the yardages, pretty consistent, really, really good spin number, but everything that I would have expected from a wedge inside on Trackman. I've got to say, that's the most impressed I've been so far and uh, probably, oh, get in, that'd be even more impressive. Uh, yeah, definitely the most impressed in terms of performance. That's that 60 degree wedge and I kind of like playing this shot, although it's 60 degrees worth of loft. It is sort of squeezing down the back of that ball. And again, I hope you can pick up on camera. Uh, it is definitely checking that ball up a little bit and uh, you've got plenty of confidence to hit firmly down on the back of the ball, plenty, be aggressive with it. And uh, like I said, I've closed that face down a little bit and that's performed really, really well indeed. And the one thing I'll say on every ball that I've hit is again, this idea of, I don't know, traction is probably the wrong word, but definitely getting some grip between, um, and, and even the noise uh, between ball and club face suggesting there is getting some spin in there. So um, I'm kind of liking that. I'm giving it a real thumbs up in terms of the, uh, their claim about the way these grooves are cut and seeing it in terms of performance, I'm gonna to have to agree, it's happening. Right, next thing I wanna talk about is the amount of options in terms of grinds on these wedges, because it is, it was the biggest offering that Callaway have ever uh, put out there in terms of options. And I don't know of anybody who does a wider or greater range, to be honest with you. I'll throw this chart up in front of you now, and you can pretty much see they've got every 
grind covered for every wedge, for every scenario, for every player. And that's a real key thing for me with these wedges, is that whilst the review has gone on, they've grown on me, they certainly performed, uh, their performance has grown on me, so they're persuading me in that way. They're not doing great things in terms of looks, and I've not mentioned that yet, but they're not jumping out at me. But in terms of performance, like I said, they've done more. But the big deal for me is about these grind options, and it's about custom fit. Because all I think that Callaway have done with this, apart from producing a technologically advanced wedge in terms of the grooves, with those options in terms of the grinds, I think what they've done is they've put custom fit into wedges on another level. And I think that's the key. I think if you're serious about spending £150 a club on a wedge, then I think it's really important you shouldn't be buying these off the shelf. There are so many grind options. I mean, I've got a clue. I'm looking at it absolutely bewildered. I know I think what I like, but I think if I was buying these wedges and I'm part with that money, maybe putting three of these wedges in my bag, the key thing is it's a massive amount of options you've got and I think you've got to get custom fit and make sure you get the right wedges, the right grind that suit your angle of attack, your delivery with your wedges. And ultimately, that's the way you're getting, you're getting the performance out of the club, but you're getting a club that fits you great. And I think that's the key for me. That's the one massive tick in the box. The other one is, like I said, they're growing on me. Slightly longer shot. I'll see what that does. Oh, I'm liking these. I mean, that was a bit of a little ball. I really like what they do in terms of performance. And like I said, for me on a personal level, just to be able to hit it that bit more aggressively. This is downwind Lynx Green and they're still managing to see. You're not gonna pick it up from that camera back there, but I can assure you the way that's checking on that first and second bounce, there's certainly plenty of action going on. And the jaws, grooves, I'm gonna say it again, are definitely working. Now I've got to be fair to Callaway, I suppose, because the one thing that they were, uh, well, they were up against it from the start, uh, when they sent me this club, because it's got, as far as I'm concerned, those blue dots I would describe as Everton blue, as I would that grip. So maybe they were on a psychological disadvantage before we started. Let's put that one to one side and tell you that as part of the custom shop process, you can change the colour of those dots. You can have it stamped with all kinds of initials and emojis and all other things that are available as part of that custom shop. Again, the grip, it's a, UT, a Lampkin UTX grip. I've never uh, held these grips before, but I can. they're almost sticky-like in feel. They're very soft. They're very responsive, very receptive back into the hands, which is great feel for a wedge. It's just a pity it's in that Everton blue again. That's a bit fickle though, isn't it? fizzing back there and they really do like I said uh, from the miserable start that I had and I do apologize for that because literally looking at them they don't do a great deal for me in terms of they, they're very similar to previous looking models and I think that something needs to jump off the shelf just a little bit different in terms of design to get the juices flowing a little bit at the start and they didn't do that I'm afraid and like I said uh, unprofessionally of me to, to not give them a chance before I was already feeling a bit miserable but I suppose that's that you know that's an ordinary reaction I just don't think they do anything fantastic because I've seen this so many times before from Callaway but the smile has come and it's never much of a smile because uh, I'm a miserable swine but uh, the, the smile has come the longer the review has gone and I think like I said for me uh, I like the idea of this uh, This being the 52 blends into your irons, I like the way they've done the shape in there. I think the grind options is fantastic and the variety options, I think it's about getting custom fit. But the big thing is about what they said, which is about this uh, Jaws grooves. And they, without doubt, and again, it's quite dark here and low light, we're in the evening. I don't know whether you can pick that up, but like I said, that was lowly flighted in and again, it's took one bounce and stopped. And that is really what Callaway and Roger Cleveland have said they've done with these wedges. And I have to say, 100% they've achieved that. So, 
wedges are never exciting videos to film uh, I'm not sure they're very exciting to watch but then when are my videos exciting to watch but the point is this if you're looking for wedges right now if yours have seen better days then this goes into the mix with a number of the other releases right now and well worth giving a try that's all I'm going to say uh, and like I said from a miserable start it gets a reasonably big smile from the average golfer right I'm going to hit a few more balls before it does get dark and uh, I'll see you all soon